I'm going to move forward with the newest hobby of mine, the blacksmithing. I posted a few videos about blacksmithing. Obviously, some of them were very comical because of the equipment that I was using. And I came to the conclusion that if I was going to move forward with any kind of blacksmithing to use in the theater or in my work, I needed to have better equipment, something that I could rely upon. And so I've started building a forge, and that's what this video is about. The first thing that I built for this project was the was a burner. Uh, I'm going to build another one. They're easy to build. I just have to get a splitter so that this regulator can feed two lines instead of just one. But for now, I've used the plans from Christ Centered Ironworks that I, I bought and downloaded. They were fantastic, simple. They had the product list and such. And he has an instructional video on how to build it. So. I uh, got all the parts. Some of these I already had, obviously. Some of them I did not have and I had to purchase. And these are galvanized, yes. But this never gets hot. Even when I ultimately did soak all the galvanized parts in vinegar to get rid of the galvanizing. So it's ultimately safe now. Don't have the space. But obviously it's quarter inch going in with a uh, quarter inch end cap that is inside this T now. And the uh, quarter inch end cap, in fact, fit so nicely into the T that all we had to do was create a little pin that held it in place while we welded the rest of the cap on. And that cap has a uh, number 35 hole drilled in uh, as the aperture or the orifice for the uh, propane. And so this is, of course, the gas side. And it goes back to the recommended uh, pressure gauge or uh, oh, pressure valve regulator. That's what I was looking for uh, that uh, he had recommended at Christ Centered Ironworks. It was a great little deal. You can get them on uh, Amazon. It's no problem or eBay and it's no problem. And then three quarter inch pipe here goes out to whatever I'm going to use to connect my forced air, which is a very small motor, blower motor. Uh, and down into the bell. And then of course uh, the, uh, wash tub or wash sink uh, strainer, pop drop-in strainer, acting as a mixing screen. Here I am soaking a galvanized bell reducer and an end cap in vinegar. It takes about 24 to 36 hours depending upon how much they pile on to get the galvanizing off. And then I welded the sink strainer that you see off to the right there into the end of that bell reducer. So after welding the other bell reducer up with the uh, sink strainer started to wire brushing everything down get it nice and clean and then I began assembling the double burner using elbows T's extra pieces this is where I've discovered in putting this together that my welds were not perfectly square and so the end result is a slightly out of square slightly no seriously out of square set of double burners you could see the wonkiness there but as long as the gas gets to the orifice and burns i'm happy with it
want to take this time to wish everyone a happy and prosperous new year. It is New Year's Eve here in the Northern Hemisphere. For those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, you've already started celebrating. And I truly hope that you all find great inspiration and great motivation to continue your craft in 2018.